All of the problems covered in my videos can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link, you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I've uploaded to YouTube. I've uploaded over a hundred extra videos on this website that you can't find on YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. All right, let's begin our problem. In this video, we're going to look at problem 55A, which has us writing off some bad debts. So up to this point, we've just been setting up an allowance, allowing for the fact that some customers go bad. Some customers don't pay their bills. Some credit customers don't pay their bills. So how do we deal with it when we actually find out? Because we've been estimating. We've been saying, oh, we estimate this percentage of sales or this percentage of receivables aren't going to come through. How do we, what do we do when we figure out that they've gone bad? We know exactly who they are. We know they're not going to pay. What do we do? Well, our job is actually not too complicated. We credit accounts receivable for whoever owes us. I better read the question before I answer it. Uh, it's only a sentence here. On August 11th, 2017, we'll date this August 11th, 2017. Worst seven of my life, and I've had some bad ones. Uh, Amco Carpet Cleaners wants to write off $4,000 uh, a $4,000 account receivable from a customer. Good Sleep Hotels. Okay, so we're a carpet cleaning company. Good Sleep Hotels is going to stiff us on our $4,000 bill, uh, and we want to write it off. We've obviously done some work for them in the past. They've said they're not going to pay our bill, or they've gone bankrupt, or they've gone whatever. They, they're not going to pay. We credit our AR from Good Sleep Hotels for four grand to say, I'm not going to see that money. And the debit here, normally I would think, if I were just beginning, I would think, oh, bad debt expense. It's a cost of, of offering credit, and now the debt's gone bad, so bad debt expense, fair enough. But remember, we've been just working all this time on setting up and making allowances. Well, why are we making an allowance? We're making an allowance for when someone doesn't pay. Well, now someone hasn't paid. Good Sleep Hotels hasn't paid. What do we do? We use up our allowance. Our allowance is a credit account, so to use up the allowance, we debit allowance. And this is just us saying, we, hey, we were allowing for the fact that someone wouldn't pay. Now they haven't paid. So debit that allowance. Now, you might have noticed in some problems, the allowance begins in a debit balance or it begins in a credit balance. That's a reflection. Let's just say I have an allowance uh, that I set up this year for 20 grand. And let's say $22,000 worth of debts go bad. Well, it means I'm going to have to debit allowance for 22 grand and credit the accounts receivable for 20 grand, 22 grand. That means the, the allowance is going to end in a debit balance before I adjust for it. Uh, let's say the next year, exact same situation. I, I set up an allowance of 20 grand. I only have 15,000 of debts go bad. It means I'm going to debit my allowance for 15 and I'm going to be left with $5,000 credit balance in my allowance. So you'll notice at the beginning of a lot of questions, you might have a debit and allowance, you might have a credit. That's based on what happened in the prior year. If we have a debit, it means more accounts went bad than we had it planned on. If we have a credit balance, that means uh, fewer accounts went bad than we had planned on. But to write off a bad debt, long story short, I made a very short question into a long one here. Debit allowance, credit accounts receivable for whatever amount has gone bad, whatever amount we're wanting to write off. All right, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for the next one, which I think will be a record. It's going to be fast.